During ancient times, poison was proven time and time again to be an integral weapon in the assassin's toolkit. Although lacking in reliability, poison provided an abundance of what every assassin values, and that is stealth and silence. The politics of ancient Rome, for instance, was greatly affected by strategic poisonings. This provided a means for wealthy, aristocratic Roman elites to control politics without brutal and damaging bloodshed. But this wasn't the only use of poison. It was actually used as a suicidal tool as well, whenever an enemy had triumphed. In this video, you will learn about seven influential poisonings that changed history. You will also discover that the influence of these events were not always experienced until decades later. Stay tuned, this is Mind Guilt. Number 1. Socrates No poison list would be complete without mentioning the famous trial and execution of Socrates. In the end, Socrates took the poison himself, claiming that he longed for death after a long life of reflection. He had to decide between death or accepting an unjust guilt, paying a fine, and leaving town, none of which he was willing to do. The Athenians needed a scapegoat for all the political and social unrest they were facing at the time, and Socrates had become one of the least popular characters in town. Socrates had become somewhat of a dilemma, at times a laughingstock, but also a philosophical genius who could easily make a fool out of anyone who thought him a fool by outsmarting them. This made the old man a target for many political attacks, leading to the trial that forced him to drink the poison. But Socrates got the last laugh as his philosophy still lives on. Number 2. Drusus Julius Caesar Drusus Julius Caesar was very close to becoming a Roman emperor as he was the only son of Emperor Tiberius and was the expected successor to the throne in the 20s AD. He was a considerably experienced statesman with a life of imperial richness ahead of him, but unfortunately he was related to two future emperors of excess known as Nero and Caligula. This made him a prime target for strategic poisoning. Sejanus, who was an ambitious confidant of Tiberius but also a rival of Drusus, did not want Drusus to secede Tiberius to the throne. Sejanus then seduced Drusus's wife Lavilla and even promised her that he had divorced his own wife for her. Lavilla then poisoned Drusus. After Tiberius died, the throne was passed over to the brutal and insane Caligula. Wow, look at how that poisoning changed life in Rome. Number 3. Demosthenes of Athens Demosthenes was an Athenian public speaker and politician who would be notable had it not been for his opposition to the consolidation of Greek power that was taking place under the rule of King Philip II of Macedonia, who happened to also be the father of Alexander the Great. After one of his powerful speeches failed in its attempt to gather Athenian support against Macedonia, Demosthenes still continued resisting and conducting campaigns for independence. After the surprising death of King Philip II, Alexander the Great famously took over the newly formed empire and went on to become the great conqueror and leader that we all know him to be. After Demosthenes attempted to lead an uprising against Alexander that failed, he went into exile. He was eventually captured and denounced as a traitor. The Athenians sentenced him to death, but he chose to poison himself instead. Number 4. Cleopatra Cleopatra became a ruler of Egypt through her Macedonian ancestors' takeover of the ancient nation. She swept Julius Caesar off his feet after he chased political rival Pompey into Egypt to solidify his power. Seizing on an opportunity to seduce the military general as he was beginning to take the reins of the powerful Roman Empire, her relationship with Caesar was a political move. After Caesar was assassinated, she became romantically involved with Mark Antony, who was one of Caesar's strongest political allies. Antony really loved Cleopatra and allowed her to assume great powers within Egypt and throughout some of the Mediterranean. This angered many Roman elites at the time, 
Thus, he fell out of political favor in Rome. As Octavian began consolidating Roman control of the empire once again after the death of Caesar, Cleopatra and Antony chose to poison themselves rather than face capture by the Romans. Number 5. Antipater Antipater was the father of King Herod the Great and started a dynasty in Palestine of which Herod would become successor as ruler. Antipater was caught in a whirlwind of local Palestinian politics, both Jewish and non-Jewish. Having been installed to power by Caesar and Pompey also meant he was caught up in Roman politics too. During his rise to local political leader as governor, he angered several local kings after installing his two sons into powerful positions in the region. A political rival named Malik poisoned Antipater a few years later, and Herod was eventually placed in power by the Romans and would go on to become the king that is well known throughout the Holy Bible. Number 6. The Emperor Claudius Emperor Claudius was the son of Nero Claudius Drusus Tiberius, who was the younger brother of the Emperor Tiberius. He is notable for greatly expanding the size of Rome and making Britain a province. Through many military campaigns, Claudius led Rome to become the largest size it would ever be as he reigned from the years AD 41 to 54. Having a long tenure for a Roman emperor of that era, Claudius's reign was largely successful. He was married to a woman named Messalina, with whom he had a son Britannicus. Claudius discovered later that his wife had conspired against him to seize power. Claudius promptly divorced her and then married Agrippina the Younger, who was the mother of Nero. Agrippina manipulated and poisoned Claudius, which would later allow Nero to become emperor. Number 7. Britannicus When Nero was in position to take the throne, as Roman Emperor, there was only one thing that stood in his way, and that was the only son that Claudius had with his previous wife, Messalina. Britannicus was the rightful heir to the throne after Claudius was poisoned. Agrippina, the younger, and Nero's mother was as ambitious as she was evil. After already murdering Claudius, she had to get Britannicus out of the way. She would hire the same poisoner who killed Claudius to also kill his son. Britannicus was only 13 years old when he died. His death allowed Nero to claim the throne, but the evil of Agrippina would not go unpunished as Nero would eventually have her murdered as well. If you learned something new from my video, then subscribe to my channel right now. Let me know which of these seven influential poisonings that change history you found most compelling and interesting. Leave a comment with your thoughts below.